your bigger Boston stereotype than Lenny Clark's swollen liver. I like it when you call me Big Poppy. I'll throw your hands in the air. Oh, Lenny. Oh, uh, by the way, guess who was asking for you in the gym? Nobody. <laughs> hey, Anthony Mackie is here, everybody. Yay! Hey. Anthony Mackie, baby. Anthony played Falcon in Captain America Civil War. Anthony, you were terrible, dog. <laughs> it was the worst I've seen a Falcon look since the second half of Super Bowl 51. <laughs> Superhero, that's the black guy. You know who can you know who who can even fly when he's not being chased by the cops? That's his superpower. Oh man. Oh man. Speaking of a thing from Georgia, comic Sarah Tiana Tiana. I just met her backstage. I, uh, her name comes from Backwoods Family or something. You know, she never played baseball, but her dad insisted on coaching her into third base. <laughs> I met Sarah backstage tonight. Sarah, I feel like a quarterback around you because mm, I'll pass. <laughs> I'm not really sure about this, and I'm not sure if you're really a slut. But it's been fun watching you take a pounding from a group of eight guys. <laughs> hey, 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 Josh, I heard why you don't play football from Sarah. Well, you want to know why Jews do play football? To get their quarterback, you cheap fuck. <laughs> We got the unknown Yankees fan here tonight being played by an unknown comic. Fuck. I'm kidding. I know Adam Ray's name from saying it right now. Adam, look at those fucking eyebrows, dog. They come from five to seven country on Trump's travel ban list. Look at those shits. <laughs> All right, we're getting to the man, the legend, David Ortiz. My man, David Ortiz. What a career. Did you know David averaged amazing 27 home runs a year and just one triple? You fat ass. Uh, man, we've all seen those home runs, those giant blasts, and after each of them, David points to the sky. He'll tell you it's paying tribute to the big fellow, but I think he's secretly hoping it's cloudy with a chance of meatballs. <laughs> Uh, I'll tell you though, it's amazing to think David signed his first pro contract right after his 17th birthday. That's 21st birthday, USA. Uh, Big Poppy and I have a lot in common. We won championships here in New England, I won a championship and a half kind of, but I don't give a fuck, I got two rings. <laughs> Yeah, Sarah, uh, you'll be lucky to get one. <laughs> and we both have fun, loving personalities, Big Poppy and I. But also, we both only play offense. Did you know David averaged time on DH spends 4.3 minutes a game actually doing something athletic? <laughs> My mom Fitbit has more steps after a brisk mall walk than David Notch in a fucking double header. <laughs> uh, Poppy, you're an inspiration to overweight beer league softball players every time. And I sure do see a lot of those in the crowd. You let them all down by retiring. Oh man. When David came here, he barely knew English. Just like his nice old pal, 
Rob Gronkowski. <laughs> I wrote a book, so I wasn't surprised when I heard David wrote a book, too. <laughs> but I was shocked when I found out it wasn't a cookbook. <laughs> Damn. Oh, by the way, David, my book's way better. You want to know why? Because you can fucking color in my book, baby. <laughs> You know, many, many of you know David spent time on the twins. So did I, Debbie and Donna. <laughs> Remember last year when they canceled David Ortiz's bobblehead night? Allegedly, because the bobblehead was racist and insensitive. <sighs> like that could ever happen in Boston. <laughs> no, they dumped the bobblehead because the friggin' spring couldn't support the damn weight of the fucking massive Ortiz hat. <laughs> I'm telling you, a poppy bobble ain't got no bobble. Uh, remember when David was famous a few years ago saying that if you weren't playing baseball, you want to be a porn star? Now, I know porn, and I swear there's no way this could work. First, there's the obvious issue, when Big Poppy pulls down his pants to reveal the quain old poppy. Uh, I'm not saying this just because David's covered in gold chains and diamond earrings, he's compensating for something. I'm just saying, he probably has a small ass piece. Plus, what if they do the cla- hey. What if they do the classic porn delivery guy? Can you imagine any scenario in which David actually puts down the fucking burrito to fuck the girl? <laughs> Just blow me. <laughs> uh, David had a little bit of a leg problem last year, mainly due to being the same size of that piece of his. <laughs> but from the look of it, he has a breast, thigh, and wing problem too. Uh, oh, David. Thanks for showing up on time to all the Dunkin' Donuts shoots. I had a blast jacking off for two hours in your green room every time. You know, hopefully you never use those pillows on your brakes. By the way, it's Dunkin' Donuts, not Yunkin' Donuts. Oh God, just stay for an extra ten hours if you're a fucking fat ass. And I'm so fucking glad your contract ended with Dunkin' Donuts. I got one year left. <laughs> Hopefully they resign me. <laughs> All kidding aside, as a player, a humanitarian, and a potential porn star, David, <laughs> you truly are a legend. You're not just a home run machine with a great character on the field, but you have been an outstanding your whole career off the field too. I'm honored to call you my friend and my Dominican brother. Poppy, you will always have a place in my heart. And of course, I'm the Gronk Party Bus, too. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Now that you are retired, three fucking strikes means they kick you out of the country.